Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Saints gaming stream. I'm your host, as always, Matthias, Matthias Talbot, and I'm joined by Theo, the Holy Juan. How are you doing tonight? Good, good, doing good today. You know, we got some Valorant yesterday, more Valorant today, and it's going to be our GC team for the first time ever. It's going to be a fun matchup today. Yeah, it's going to be a really fun matchup. It's our first time seeing our GC team on display here on stream, folks, but it's looking to be a very good one here in the Aurora Series Valorant. Who is going to be our opponent for today? It is going to be University, University of Delaware Sphinx. Yeah. So that should be pretty good to going through their lineup. Let's just run it through real quick. We have Caitlyn, Jade, Sylve, Singularity, and Gong on the side of University of Delaware. And because it's their first time on stream, we're going to introduce our lineup for our Saints Game Changers team. We have Oppie, Korosu, Chris, Maya, and Abby Profen for the Saints. And the scoreline for right now is 2-0 Saints in the Aurora series and 1-1 for University of Delaware. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's a new season, new team. So definitely a good start to the season. The fact that they are 2-0, and zero, you know, we're going to want to see that on display today and keep the flawless season going. But, you know, starting off a new team, starting off the season hard, I mean, it's a great sign of great things that are going to come. Yeah, a lot of rising talent in the scene, and one of the rising duelists we're going to have an interview with in a, just a few moments. That's going to be Oppie. Let's throw it over to them. How are you doing, Oppie? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So, this is your first time on stream. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling confident today. Feeling confident. Great, great. So, you have any questions, Theo? I mean, new season, new team. You guys start off 2-0. Oh, how are you guys feeling uh, so far to start off the season? As a team, like, we're really confident in each other. We've, we've spent a lot of time together. Like, we are very confident. So you have lots of close bonds. That's going to lead you and take care of you in the battle. But going up against the University of Delaware, how are you feeling about that matchup? I think we can easily get a 2-0. An easy 2-0. So what do you think in the score lines, if I'm going to get some, some guesses? Um, maybe like 13-3, 13-5. Wow, very like confident, very yeah. confident. I'm excited to see it. Do you have any follow-up questions? I mean, yeah, you said uh, you're feeling strong. How would you say your uh, read on the meta right now is? Are you playing uh, the meta stuff, or do you guys have some funky picks you pick out on some maps? Uh, we we kind of play what we want, and we just kind of see in the moment. That's great. Well, I'm excited to see what you choose in the agent select. We wish you the best of luck going into this game, and let's see some crazy score lines. Thank you very much, Oppie. So now we're going to get right into the thick of it. Let's go a little bit deeper onto our teams. Let's go through. We have some fun facts written down here for the enemy team. We have Caitlyn on the enemy team. They raise guide dogs, which is a pretty cool. interesting yeah. fun fact right there. That's not something you hear very often. Jade has a dinosaur tattoo. Uh, Sylve has scored an insane score of 1,015 in Crossy Road, which I don't even know how you do that. That's a pretty high score. That's some dedication. The same, you know, with us, they're, they're guessing some high score lines. I believe in their confidence. But when you have someone that determined as your opponent, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough. Yeah. And we have Singularity, who's fluent in Turkish. We have Gong, who has scored 60k in 2048. That's also pretty impressive. Which is a very respectable score right there. I have gone nowhere close to that. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. <laughs> and then on our side, of course, we just saw Oppie, a very talented duelist player. And then we have Korusu. They played for YFP, a tier two game changers team. So we got mm -hmm. some good talent here. And we got Chris, local talent. We have Maya, out of town talent. And of course, we have Abby Profen, which is. Just an awesome name. That is an awesome <laughs> name. That is a pretty cool name. Yeah. I mean, as you said, we have some up and coming stars and you can see that they could be the reason to why our team is looking so strong to start off. And I, I love the confidence from all these just ready <laughs> exactly. to 13 three. That's a very, very, very pre prediction that I like a lot. I like that a lot too. But of course we have our maps, picks and bands for today. So let's see them right here. What are these high scoring maps for the Saints going to be? Delaware has banned Icebox, St. Clair has banned Bind, and the picks are going to be by Delaware gets first pick. Uh, it's going to be Haven with Saints starting defense. Second map is going to be Sunset, picked by the Saints themselves with defense 
starting in Delaware. And of course, got two more bands, and the decider is going to be Lotus. Yeah, uh, you know, from the way things are sounding, doesn't sound like Saints want to be seeing Lotus today. So hopefully, for their sake, they won't see Haven and Sunset today. And you know, two maps. Uh, Yesterday on stream, if you guys missed it, the Saints played the exact same two maps and went in pretty strong fashion. So I think our GC team are going to be looking to follow up on that. I think so, too. They're looking a lot more confident, I think, than even the Varsity Premier team. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, they are, they're good to get those score lines out and then they falter a little bit. I'm really excited to see how differently uh, the Game Changers yeah. team plays. You know, I don't want to see any of those crazy <laughs> leads and then losses that we saw from last night. But... It's going to be Haven first, which is an interesting map. We're getting a three-point uh, mode that, yeah. first. So how do you think that's going to change with uh, the Saints starting defense, I believe? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, definitely want to see how both teams uh, like to play this map. You could play with a lot of pace, or you could play really patiently, wait for the rotate. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I think a big point uh, is important if... Either team decides to really aggress on that B side in the middle. If you can really blow the game up and make that a threat, I think it makes that map way easier to play on either side. Yeah, B side is always such a contentious site, right in the middle of everything. If you can take and get control, you're in such a good spot. But if it falls apart, you're so vulnerable. So I'm excited to see what we have on Haven. Of course, this is for sure going to go two games at least. Yeah. So our next map after that was going to be, I'm blanking on it now. Bind. Bind. It was Bind, yes. No, Bind was banned out. No, Bind was banned out. Okay. We also <laughs> we out. Lost it. We're losing it over here. But if it does go to Lotus, it should be pretty interesting as well. Lotus just is always so crazy. Another three-point uh, map. Yeah. It's a bit newer as well. A bit newer. has those crazy revolving doors. It's being taken out of rotation of quick play. So <laughs> it should be pretty interesting there. But what do you think of the confidence from the Game Changers team? They're thinking it's going to be a 13 Three, thirteen, five. You know, very high-scoring game for themselves. Yeah, I mean, I hope, I hope their their statements are true. You know, very, very confident. They they can back it up with being two zero on the season already. So it's not like they're just saying it out of pure confidence. They are <laughs> confident for a reason because they're just been getting the wins. I remember map two. It's sunset. You remember two? It's sunset. It's sunset. A pretty there low gimmick map. A lot of walls. A lot of little tricky angles to play against, but no teleport is nothing absolutely crazy like bind or like fracture. Yeah. So it should be a very interesting game mode to watch as well. And one thing I'm very excited to see is they're not sticking to the meta. Mm -hmm. Oppie said they just play what they like. So I'm excited to see some maybe some more off meta agents. Yeah, might see maybe two two duelist comps with maybe a little less uh just abilities and crowd control and make making up for that in just pure kills. It'd be interesting to see if they do play the more aggressive type or if they play maybe a more relaxed comp and just use their abilities to get the get the advantages. Yeah, I'm excited to see that as well. But, you know, I feel like you can't underestimate their opponents. They're very confident, but I have a feeling Delaware's one and one. That doesn't really tell the whole story no. there, especially one and one. They're not on a loss like... streak. They're not on a win streak. It could be a toss-up here. I think they're here to give us a good game at least. But if I had to do score predictions, I still think this is going to go 2-0 for the Saints. I mean, from the way things are sounding, I think that's the only proper decision here, picking them to go to zero, but their opponents were asked about the Saints, and the Delaware said they don't really know what to expect of the Saints, so I think that's a good thing for the Saints, being unexpected, doing the unexpected is definitely something you want to do in a game like Valorant. Yeah, if I know anything about all the Saints teams, they always do the unexpected, they always have some surprise yeah. up their sleeve, always have some tricks to play, and it's going to be a good one. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well... Not what to talk about. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. What, 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 kind of, what kind of agents do you think we might see from our Saints coming out on the first map that you wouldn't, wouldn't normally see at the highest level of play? I mean, we're going to see some stuff that we see usually see, but I'm excited to see some more trickier champs. Maybe a Gecko will come through. We're seeing a Jet, an Omen, a Sova, Reina. a Reyna, and a Cypher. So, you know, they said they're going to go for off meta. I'd say the only off meta here would be that Reyna. Yeah, I mean, but it is a double duelist comp, which is not something you see way too often. So that means, yeah, Saints are going to be very confident in their skills here. And let's talk about the lines real quickly. Jet, Omen, Sova, Reyna, and Cypher for the side of the Saints. University of Delphi, Sphinx have Sova, Raze, Killjoy, Breach, and Omen. So University of Delaware going for way more utility while Saints have a bit more firepower. 
definitely do have them beat there, but on Haven, does that really matter? You can kind of just blow through yeah. these points if you're just, if you have enough aggression and enough confidence and enough aim skill, you're able to get these points, lock them down relatively quickly. It's all about the rotations, though. I think U University of Delaware definitely playing for that more defensive place. Absolutely, try and lock yeah. them down, keep them burning time, force them to go for the rotations try and run out the clock that way. Yeah, on the side of defense, University of Delaware should have a bit of an easier time because they have that killjoy, but Saints on attack are going to be absolutely monstrous. If they can just hold on on defense and win a good amount of rounds there, I think on attack, they have a very good chance of just blowing it open. I mean, I like what they picked there as well. The Cypher is going to be their defensive bastion right there. They're going to have to rally behind all those tripwires and cams and the little tricks he can set up there, along with the Omen one ways. I think they have enough defense to get by here. Yeah, absolutely. And Sova can just kind of on his lonesome as soon as the more money rounds come in by and Odin sit on that wall, shoot up those darts and just hold down that B side alone. So it's a very, very uh, hold down any side alone. So it's very interesting. Both teams going for the Sova here. But I think Reyna is definitely going to be the big game changer in this map. I think. <laughs> I think so. You know, that Reyna is a very snowball heavy agent, you know. Can get those picks, get those kills. It can be absolutely hard to shut down, but if you can't get that initial first pick, it's always so tough. Reyna and ISO have that in common. Moving over to University of Delaware, very similar team comp in terms of the initiator, Sova. Everything else, completely different. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They have a couple of similar picks, but they go for the raise as their uh, dualist option. So different from both of the agents the Saints have selected, going for that more crowd control kind of utility from that raise, but the Jet and Reyna kind of can only shoot at one target at a time, can only do so much damage, but we're going to be getting into the first round here as Saints going to be the ones on the defense of Delaware, can be on the attack. Yeah, we have a left-facing gun here. That's not something we usually see quite often, but it looks good nonetheless. All left. I think they're all left here. I think that's an observer option at this point, but here, <laughs> enough on the gun positions. Gonna get all line up here with the arrow. Gonna move in on the smoke. Rotate over, try and get one. No, Singularity gonna get two. Wow, Delaware off to a hot start there. Getting three down. Singularity gonna go for the plant. Jade getting another. Wow, a really quick round from Delaware. Yeah, I mean, insanely quick round. Blink and you miss it. Five for zero, flawless. It's a great start for Delaware Saints. Just felt like flies on that A site. Yeah, that was just an absolutely lethal start from Delaware. I mean, we were speculating Saints might have the more aggressive comp, but I think we know which side has the more aggressive players, and that has to be Delaware. Yeah, after that round, you would have to think so. I mean, they just moved into the site so quickly. Didn't even use too much utility, really. Just kind of ran in there and took it. Now it's going to be a save round for the Saints. It's going to be a half by here for the opponents as Saints are four stacked on this A site. They do find some shots onto JD and Chris finds the opening pick onto Sylvie. Nice shot there. Gives the Reyna a bit some HP to work with as Delaware are going to back out and Saints are going to be able to withstand on this A site even though they don't really have the weapons to do so. Yeah, they don't really have the weapons to contest right here. But they do have some sheriffs, you know, right positioning, right shot, right timing. They might be able to turn this one around, but right now it's going to be pretty tough. But right now, Saints, they do have the kill advantage here. They should be able to push onto the site and try and defend it. And you could see Saints complete giving this one up, playing for the retake. They just want to use their numbers maybe and take the advantage that way the stun is ready for the breach it's a good flank here from the saints members can they find the shots here chris finds one and all the shots are going to be falling for the saints as oppie and chris get a one more and ab profen gets the last pick it's a flawless round for the saints after losing the initial pistol round and now they're going to be looking very very good here as they get their first round on the board here yeah, getting the first round on the board, you know, not the best start, but carrying on the Saints Valorant tradition of losing pistol. <laughs> but now it's going to be a thrifty turning the tides for them, putting some money in the pocket for this team. It's going to be much needed. And now they're going to have that flexibility to really showcase their skills. 
Yeah, and they're gonna have uh, the same weapons they had. They're not even gonna buy anything because uh, they know the side of University of where need to be saving this round. And next round, they're gonna have all the money you could ever want. So an important round here, but one that Saints definitely have an upper hand in. Yeah, the Saints definitely have the upper hand, and they're going to have so much money going into the next round, win or lose. But I have a feeling this one's going to be a win, just purely looking off the buys, unless Delaware can have some tricky plays. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting who can find the opening pick here. It looks like Delaware want to push this garage, but... We said they don't really have the weapons to be playing with the most confident still. They're going to be going pretty quickly. They will get spotted out by the Cypher Trip, but they're not into the C site yet. Now they're going to look to walk in, and they're playing very, very straightforward. Not going for too many fakes as Chris does fall, but off he finds the trade. And nice shots, you're coming out. But I'll be hoping can't find anything. That's a good trade, though, from the Sova. Gets a couple nice shots there from both Sovas, but now it's just a 1v1 situation. Oppie against Gong, the plant will go down. We're going to see a 1v1 post plant situation. Oppie has to back up the interview right here, right now. Has to dash prep. Bulldog out, catches the reload, and catches the headshot. Beautiful round from Oppie there with the clutch, bringing Saints 2-1. to one. Yeah, great job there by Offy, clutching that one up. Bit of a shaky round, to be fair. They did have the weapons, and it came down to a 1v1. One, one but in the end, all that matters is winning the round and having the clutches on your team. And when you have the clutches on your team, it just makes the game so much easier to play. Exactly. Now the economy should be absolutely booming for the Saints. I mean, let's take a look here. They're able to upgrade to Offy with the op there. They are doing absolutely amazing right now. And you can see at the ultimate charges, getting close to some crucial ultimates, right the here. Sova ultimate and Rain ultimate, close to that. And on the other side, Breach, one kill away from that ultimate themselves. So it's going to be a C push it looks coming up here from Delaware. They throw out some Sova utility. They're playing this one a little bit slower than they were previously. It's ibuprofen over there looking for some peaks, but the smoke's out. No push can be coming in just yet. Smoke out, no push, but I think they're going to be patient and trying to wait for it here. They want to go for this seaside, or at least try and find a long-range pick here. We're going to see one pushing up a mid here. It's going to be Sylph. Going to take out the recon bolt, take a couple bullets, but they're managing to get out here. Send out the drone, send out the Reina, but Sylph is ready for it. Yeah, Chris gets picked off. Unfortunate there for the Saints, but a nice trade from Kurosu takes down Silv. That's going to be a 4v4. Oppie with this op could find a pick here for the Saints. Just misses that shot, gets stunned up, but should be able to get out. But the Breach ultimate is going to come out. Are they going to follow up and take down the Jet here? Doesn't look like it. Oppie is able to survive, but the point is taken. The University of Delaware, and they're going to get the plant down. To get the plant down, all down to the yeah, so Saints to play the retech take 4v4. Silva alt Oppie getting the op shot, two op shots in a row. Jade shutting down Kurosu. It's a 3v2 for Delaware in hell. Gonna be taken up by Abby Profen. Gong getting one, but Oppie getting the 3k and winning the round once again. A good round again from the Saints. A clean retake off the back of Oppie's picks there. And a great, great round for them. They go up 3-1. Now I think Delaware are forced into a save round. And now I think Saints have a real chance of running away with this one. I agree. You know, a little bit of a shaky pistol round start. But, you know, that happens to the best of us. Happens and, you to know, the Saints a lot. Well, <laughs> it happens to the Saints a lot. You know, no matter what rank of team, it seems pistol's always tough for the Saints. But once they get those expensive guns in the hands, once it really gets down to brass tacks, the Saints have it locked down. Yeah, and they were able to get the breach out ultimate out as well, which is great for the Saints. Now it's gonna be way harder for Delaware to find any clear without that one. And they, they didn't even win the round, so it's just great job by the Saints. They still have that operator on OP, who's gonna be holding down C basically for the rest of this half with that operator. We could see Chris playing very aggressively on this arena. Has died first a couple times, but has a beautiful flank here, and you can just turn the corner. Find a couple members, won't be able to do so. They're all into Garage, going into C now. All five members stacked on top of one another, but they don't have the greatest weaponry here. Let's see if this Reyna on the flank if anything. Kurosu dies, but Chris finds one on the flank. Doesn't find a second. Plant does not go down, however. Reyna ult comes out, 35 HP left on this Reyna. Worried about the flank, but all members are on the point. Can Maya find the opening pick there? No, Gong will take down down Saints. You do move in quickly now. Peek's gonna come through. Can Reyna find the kills? No, Silv's gonna fall down. Now it's a 4v2 for the 
side of Delaware off. He finds one, finds a second through the smoke. The Saints look to push through as AV Profen falls down. Now it's another clutch scenario here for Oppie. Looks for the third, can't find it, finds the headshot there. Now 1v1 has the knives if wants to use it, but one shot is all it takes. Doesn't get that one. Thrifty for University of Delaware in a round. They probably shouldn't have had any chance of winning, but they take it and make it 3-2. You know, Delaware just has these <laughs> insane tactics at play, able to turn around even the worst of situations. And now St. Clair, they're going to have to dive into those savings quite a bit here. Spend yeah. what they can to try and keep this one competitive. Of course, Oppie going with that op once again. We have Cypher Alt online and those blades if need be. I think we might see those come into fruition. But with the lockdown on Delaware's side along with the showstopper, it's going to be tough to play aggressively here. Yeah, it's going to be looking like another C push here from Adele where they've been pretty one way so far where they make their mind up to go to. They send all five members and go all in, but looks like this time they're going to play a little bit more slower. They're going to reset back through their spawn and I think they might be looking for A or B push here. A or B, not going to be C, we're going to rotate off of that. Nice oh, angle idea. here, gets nice. one and gets out. Beautiful play by Oppie. Yeah, Oppie has been finding picks on this operator. Great job so far on that jet. Now it's going to be Chris on this Reyna, looking to find another pick here. The raise ult comes out and it's not done where the Reyna wants to be, but she gets out of dodge there. Good job from Chris there to stay alive. And now it's going to be the push coming up from Delaware. Push coming up from Delaware. Big Molly here clearing out the site. Oh, oh come on! The right there! Three kills on the board. Can it be four? And Maya gonna get one off the board. Last oh, one standing is gonna be Gong. They're all flooding in on them now. Running in for the knives. Gong overwhelmed by too many players. They're gonna get the round to win. I mean. You can tell they're feeling very confident here. Yeah, feeling very confident. They do drop an operator at the end, but they're going to pick that one up right Either back. Else. And they have the money to buy, so it's no a big deal. And you can see they're having a great time while doing Thanks. that. And it's going to be another save round from the look of things for Delaware. They can afford a few weapons here and there, but the whole team just can't afford to buy everything. Can't really afford to buy all the things they want. Going to have a few, have a hero vandal, a few guardians. Going for a little bit of a force round here. Want to try and win it here. Don't want the Saints to get too far ahead. They have locked down the play around still, and that could be the big decider here. Yeah, it's a big ultimate, but pretty hard to use on offense, especially with the way Saints are playing. They're not giving up an inch, but it's going to be another just straight C push through Garage here. Let's see how Saints side defend this one. The shots come out here from Kuros, who finds one, looking to find the second. Everyone from Delaware in that little hallway can't find any more after that, but the rotates are coming through. Chris finds one, but down goes AB Profen. 3v3 situation here. Still a lot to do for the Saints. Nice shots from the Reyna. Finds one, finds a second, and Maya on the flank gets the finishing kill. Saints go up 5-2 to two with a very, very clean defensive round. Very clean defensive round indeed. And now this lead is starting to widen. That gap is looking less easy to close for Delaware. But if I know anything about Delaware, once they're down and out, once they have some guns in their hands, they know how to play relatively well here. They're going to give the Saints a good run for the money here. But the Saints, they are stacked with ultimates right now. Yeah, and Oppie is 12 and 3 to start off this map. You can see the confidence was there for a reason, backing it up. Great play so far, Maya. Gonna shout that Sova Dart doesn't spot out anything, but it's looking like an A push here from University of Delaware. But Saints have a couple members ready to defend. Delaware is probably thinking they just want to go for something solid here, something consistent. I mean, why uh -oh. not throw all the bodies you can down here? A short, uh -oh. wow, <laughs> big flash comes out. Chris <laughs> unable to good. see what's coming. And now, with the lockdown coming into effect here, it's up to the Saints to either get out or get in. Oh. It looks like it's going to be a get out from Maya. Hold the backside. There's a little gap right there. Finds one, gets oh. concussed oh. out. Oh, Oppie flight. gets the coverage, though. Guardian Angel. They're all dropping down. Caitlyn gets one. Here. For another, they might get the plant down even through all the chaos. 
Yeah, the plant is going to be down. Still, this flank from Oppy is here. Nice shot from Abby Profen. Finds one, doesn't find the second. Now they have a player up and have an Oppy. We're going to find something with those jet knives. Does find a lot of damage. The trade comes through. Now it's a one for one. Low HP on Singularity here on this breach. The shot comes through from Kurosu. Can't find the kill. Drops right on top. And he's going to wow. find the clutch. Nice headshot there by Kurosu. Saints take another round. A little bit closer that time. But great play to win it out in the end. Some beautiful parkour on display, right? there you know they would jump for the beef you know that they would go for the win they're not even letting any fear of heights come into play there yeah great job from the saints and what do you think delaware can do to maybe bring themselves back to this game because they're having a really rough time fighting rounds here against the saints yeah the saints just pressing their advantage all the way i mean it's just tough to run into such a skilled op on the side of op it's just, very, very difficult yes. to find any angles there. Any long angles, at least. Maybe you can try that A short once again, but kind of just wrong. got stuck on the site once they were there. Saints had every angle covered, but right now, looks like they're going to go for a C long push once again, leading to the Saints. Going on a bit of a flank here. It's going to be Chris searching and lurking. Yeah, it's not the first time Chris has gone for a flank here. Many times we've seen it. Some success, some not success, but could lead to success here. The killer is going to be around the corner, but it's going to be a C push coming out from side of University of Delaware Saints. Looking to block this one off. Oppie's coming with the op. Chris and Ibuprofen find the first few kills, but wow. two trades are right back. Makes it a four-on-one situation here, and there's going to be the kill and the round. Kurosu finds that one onto Gong. Saints very easily take that round and go up 7-2. to two. Seven to two. That score line up you predicted is now looking more Very and realistic, more likely. Yeah. You know, after that first round, I was a little worried. You know, a little shaky. And then the round after that, I was like, well, this is going to be a much closer game than we <laughs> yeah. expected. But now, it seems like the Saints have found their flow, found their rhythm, and they're going to keep on keeping on here. And they still are just holding three very powerful ultimates here. They have that Omen ult, they have the Cypher ult, and of course, that Silva ult is an absolute game changer. Uh oh, Chris up a very, very deep here on the Reyna. It does get spotted out. You can see all five members immediately panic as they don't want to peek that Reyna. Up, he does have the Arp later already, waiting for a swing. Doesn't find the initial shot. I don't know if that's the swing Sylvie wants to take here. Okay, stop it's going to be a full rotate to A site. Killjoy will stay towards C for just a tiny bit, but the rest of Delaware are making their way onto that A site. On the A side, wow. Silv wins out the gunfight oh. there. The Silva ult comes into play. Gets some good damage there on A short. Concussion coming through. Enemies all around. Abby Profen finds one. Micah gonna find another. Trades left and right. Korosu getting another one. It is a 2v2 situation for the teams. It's a 2v2, but a 2-1-1 on, one on this side, and the spike is down. They have an operator to watch any sight lines here. And it's gonna be all up to Sylvie on this. Killjoy to win this one out here. Saints know the spike is down. I'm surprised they aren't holding it a bit tighter here. Sylvie is going to walk up. Double swing comes through and they do find around RP. Gets that one. Saints go up 8 to 2 as they're completely steamrolling their opponents. We need to start. We need to go back in the VOD here and start counting how many <laughs> round enters on RP has gotten. I feel like. Almost 80% of the rounds so percent. far, Oppy has gotten yes. the last laugh. I mean, Oppy has 15 kills, so definitely could see why a lot of the round ending kills are picked up there. Right. Very, very clutch so far, and a great job from all the Saints supporting uh, Oppy into letting them find all these picks. Exactly, you know, there is a team based game. Oppy would not be able to get these amazing plays if not for the team but it looks like there's a b rush coming out from delaware gonna clear out the site with boom bot and a smoke take out the tripwire that's gonna alert the saints really quick they're funneling in onto the site trying to play the defense waiting for some footsteps goes oh. in beautiful play by chris what? gets the overheal here back up to nearly full health and now sneaky corner position from kodosu waiting for the cross peak <laughs> But there's another cross. No one here is going to approach. We are at a standstill here, folks. Yeah, this is a good old 
stand still, as you said. Neither team wants to push, but Saints, they don't need to go anywhere. They, they can happily to. sit there for the rest of the round, and they will win it out as finally Ibuprofen finds a pick onto Sylvie there. As now Saints have the 5v3. It is a save round for University of Delaware, so they aren't too inclined to win this round. Don't really have the firepower to do so, but still, even hurting the economy of the Saints a tiny bit could lead to a comeback. Exactly. You need to make every round as expensive as you can make it. 30 seconds, though. It's make or break at this point. Singularity prepping the concussion. They know there's players on both sides. They have to make a decision here. They're going to go with the right. Check oh, no, they the don't. Wrong corner here. Course who finds the one with Chris finding the other. Gong finding one in the trade and a round win over to the Saints once again. Will this be 9-3 or 10-2 is the question we're asking Last now. I mean, Saints want it to be 10-2. Obviously, they are playing an astounding map so far. Their only couple of losses were one on the pistol, and then there was one random thrifty round in there. So... Saints doing a great job so far in this map, and I think they're going to be looking to close this one out as soon as possible. I think you're right on the money there, Theo. They still have that Rana all online. I mean, if they really just want to let Chris unleash the beast and just tear through the enemy team, they have every right to do so. Oh, there's five members stacked here from Delaware. Kurosu finds the sun, the flash, I mean, and they walk in. Kurosu finds a couple picks off the back of that, makes it a 4-3 Chris. They're to fall down, but still, Saints looking to push forward. It's actually only Kurosu here on this omen. Doesn't get spotted out. Gets a nice wow, wall the bang wall. there onto the Sova and gets out with the life Kurosu doing God's work on this omen so far. God's work here, Kurosu. Peeking the oh. corner, gets a headshot in Almost complete ace. synchronicity with Maya. Absolutely beautiful teamwork, beautiful plays. Almost an ace, four kills on the board. I mean, if you have the cross lined up, though, you got to do the sync shot. You have to, you have to finish out the round at a perfect time there. Saints, take the first half at 10-2. What would you say is the biggest point of emphasis you think for them after that first half? What led to such a dominant lead? I think just once they got out of pistol round, once they got a little bit warmed up, figured out what makes Delaware tick, they just adapted instantly and started to take every advantage they can get and just started snowballing from there. Well, it is the second pistol round of uh, the match. Who do you think takes this one? That's, that's a tough question. I want to believe they're going to learn from what happened last time. Maybe take a page out of Delaware's books and just go full rush down one of these sites. Looks like they're going to do that they will. down C Long. Probably one of the more dangerous sites. Uh -oh. So They're going to get concussed out. They have the shadow, though. Turret with Sylv going to take one out. Wow, Silv getting multi-kills along with the turret here. They Maya right getting one with Chris. It is a 3v3. Yeah, and Chris got that healing on the Reyna, so gonna have a little bit more HP than most there with that go. Saints get the spike down. 3v3 situation. It was a bit of a disaster to start off, but now looking very, very winnable for them. Gong does find one. Jade finds the second. That's gonna be a 1v2 situation for Amaya. Careful that shock dart will be able to stay alive. Needs to find that shot. Wow. Beautiful flick there onto one. The defuse is coming through. Pros don't fake. It's three quarters done. Does pick around the corner. Great clutch there from Maya in the 1v3. Gets the fourth kill of the round four <laughs> on that Sova. And they take the pistol round now, put themselves in the prime position to finish off the map. Absolutely beautiful play from Maya there. And I would do the exact same thing. I do that when I get like an <laughs> insane clip of like, yeah, did you see me? I, I crossed I over there. You do, the, do the hand signals. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was spectating, bro. <laughs> Absolutely amazing play right there. And now Saints on track to take this one. An even better scoreline than was predicted by Oppie. They said 13-3. This is Malo is looking like it could be 13-2. Absolutely, and it's going to be a force here from the side of University of Delaware, and their breach gets taken down to one hit point. As if Saints win this round, they put themselves in a very, very good position to close out the map. The show, the, all the utility going to be thrown down onto the side. It is still one HP on this breach. Finds find the headshot, but doesn't have the weaponry to take him out immediately. It's going to be the opening pick for the side of the Saints here. The spike is going to be down. It's going to be so hard for Delaware to find the retake. 
It's gonna be very difficult indeed. They're down guns, they're down <laughs> positioning, and they're down players by quite a bit now. A uh, two v four is the scoreline right now. Korusu getting one with the sheriff. Another three kills for Korusu, taking the round 12 to two. And now after a force buy on the side of Delaware, this is looking to be it. I mean, Saints are completely running over them, doing a great, great job in this map. And as you said, they put themselves, can't put yourself in a better position to close out the map. Enemy team can't afford too much, and you can afford all you can eat. A couple, three Vandals are going to be coming out, a couple Guardians for the Saints. I think yet again, they're just going to rush down the seaside, and with the Guardians now, they're going to have that long sight lines. It's going to be very hard for Delaware to find anything here. Very difficult for Delaware to find a way onto this side, but you know you cannot give up. There's always crazy things that can happen in Valorant. If you can just, as they say, lock in, you might be able to turn things around. But the Saints are the definition of locked in. Yeah, and they're gonna take this site without any, any resistance. The plant goes down now. 40 seconds for them to close out this map. Delaware gonna go for the five-man retake, but they don't have any long-range weapon saints. Just need to hold uh, these angles as best they can, and they will be able to take the map. There's Oppie finding the opening pick of uh, the round here. The Sova is down, gonna make it so much harder for Delaware to enter as they look to TP in. Good angle here from Maya, can find the shot. Misses a couple, dodges the flash shot, does get taken down. A couple picks here for the breach, but Chris finds one, finds a second. Ibuprofen does get taken down. So down goes Chris as well. It's gonna be up to Corosa now. The 1v2 defuse is coming through. Is he gonna shoot through that blind? Can find one shot. Can he find the second? Yes, Corosu gets the double kill on that omen. It's gonna be the first map going over to the Saints 13 to 2. Yeah, they find the shots through the smoke. And they just have absolutely amazing aim. And 13-2, and that is a better score than predicted by Oppie. Maybe that prediction wasn't so common. That was just maybe a little bit of a conservative prediction. <laughs> you know, just a little bit lower. Maybe they're even aiming for the 13-0. I point. mean, that might have been. <laughs> With all that being said, absolutely amazing round on Haven. Haven always has such interesting angles, plays. It's been an old map. There's so many cool things especially with that like parkour jump up from heaven you don't see that too often yeah. anymore but when it happens it's always a joy to see yeah it's awesome saints pulling out all the tricks needed to win that first step and i think they figured out delaware pretty well delaware, delaware play pretty one-dimensional when they push a site all five members are there they're going all in or all out and i think saints in that type of matchup just completely dominate with their mechanics. Exactly, and now going into this next site, dialing it back a little bit, going to a two point map is going to be Sunset. So now the Saints, how do you think they're gonna fare on Sunset? I think from the looks of the first map, they will be very, very comfortable heading into the second map. They just had a amazing performance. Self-esteem is at an all time high in Delaware's is probably not. So Saints riding the high wave, I think will continue to ride in, win this one pretty comfortably. I'd have to agree with you there. Well, with all that being said, I think we here are going to throw it over to a very quick break, and we'll be right back with game two.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. And after an absolutely amazing start for the Saints, they are up 1-0, winning that last game 13-2. to Yeah, I mean, an absolutely amazing performance from the whole team. Everyone was fragging out. So just a great, great start for them. You can see their chemistry really has been built well so far from the start of the season. And I think they're going to be one of the teams to look out for in this league. I know, and the, the, you maybe there's some, like, Hints of, oh, maybe they're a little bit overconfident with those score lines, right? <laughs> but no, they are absolutely apt. If not, they're a little underconfident there, undershot by a point or two. But they were very close predictions. So going forward into this next match, I think that was just an overall prediction. So Delaware is going to have some tough times making their way back. What do you think they could do to try and adapt to the Saints? I mean, Delaware have been pretty... Pretty easy to read, I would say. I think the Saints got that read off them. They were able to read that Delaware likes to send all five members, and if they go, they go. <laughs> There's no flank watching. There's no flanks coming in. Pretty straightforward game plan. I think Saints, uh, with their mechanical skill and just how good they really are, they figured out ways to play around it. And on the attack, they didn't drop a single round. So they're going to be, I think, starting on the attack this time. So if they can get up to a really, really big lead. I think it's going to be hard for Delaware to say anything. I'd have to agree with you right there. But honestly, the Saints are just showcasing tactical superiority here. You know, Delaware does have some good gunplay to back up those plays. They're just not doing anything super creative or unpredictable, like you yeah. said. But, you know, I think the Saints have them beat there. But going on to Sunset, a bit more smaller map, I think... That might buy Delaware some time, some flexibility, or some time to really focus in on their defense. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to need to really lock in defensively here to uh, bring this back because 13-2, I mean, that's a that's a big, big score. And I, th I don't think our Saints can be looking to slow down either. But we did see some funny things coming up from the Saints, some knife kills to end off the round there, you know, jumping in front of the enemy. So... You know, one round here, one round there, you do a few silly mistakes like that. And if Delaware can take advantage of that, the script could flip and then the Saints could be in trouble. Yeah, that is an issue our other Valorant team seems to have. They'll get up a huge scoreline, but then the overconfidence starts to come in. You make a slip up here and there. And, and in Valorant, that really starts to add up between the rounds economically and also just mentally giving the team any sort of breathing room to regain their mental. Yeah. It's, it's really tough. Yeah, because when a team is... At their lowest, losing really bad, but they win a few rounds in a row. Quickly, their confidence will rise. And on the flip side, the team that's ahead won't really think too much of it. And then you blink, and then all of a sudden, it's a tie game. You're losing. So I don't think we're going to see that from our Saints today. They've looked very, very good so far. But have to keep that in the back of your mind. You can't get overconfident. No, you cannot. And you have to try and keep dialing in there you know you have to try and stay close to their adaptations and i think the saints are very good at that anytime delaware tried to do something different even if it's just by a little bit the saints always had them covered they never were like all right guys let's just full stack see they've been running a seed no they're always ready and waiting for anything delaware throws at them yeah and on and on the attacking side for the saints there was Almost no resistance from Saradel, where they had one member on C. Saints sent five members there every single round, I think, for the entire half, and won every single round. Yeah, one person might fall, two people might fall, but even in the clutch scenarios, 1v1, 1v2, 1v3, the Saints always seem to come out on top, and I think that's a very, very big reason to why the score was so large in their favor. So now going into Sunset, I think I would like to see some different angles. You know, have Haven, it's kind of been figured out by now. We know what's kind of going to be picked there. There was a little bit of off meta there with the Reyna, but something I would love to see that is sort of meta, but almost not really played unless it's a comfort pick is the Gecko. I yeah, love seeing I Gecko, agree. especially on Sunset. You have such high walls. You're able to see that. So let's see what we have here. It's going to be the same loadout as last time. For the Saints, but the Gecko will be picked up is. by the side of the University of Delaware, so they might be listening to a bit of your advice here, Matthias. They also are going to go with the Rays again. Cypher again. The Clove is going to be mm -hmm. picked up here for Singularity as well. So two different picks here for the side of the University of Delaware's fix. And I love these pickups. Something, uh, throw something at the Saints that they won't see coming. 
Yeah, and I like the pick from Delaware. You know, we've talked ad nauseum before the Saints. It's the same old, same old from what we saw last time. But over on Delaware, you know, you have that initiator, Gecko, able to clear a lot of the sites here and use a lot of the verticality of Sunset to their advantage. Over on the Clove, though, that's an interesting pick for Smokes. They're not the best uh, controller in the game by far when it comes to just sheer coverage, mm -hmm. but they do have a lot of interesting things in their kick. Able, a kit, able to play from death, play Smokes even from beyond the grave is absolutely crazy mechanic. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting mechanic, and it might be Saints, something Saints haven't seen too much of, so could be... University of Delaware's little curveball to throw at them because whatever they did in first map definitely did not work. So I yeah, I love these picks here and you know, maybe give yourself even the slightest bit of chance by mix uh, mixing up the probability of winning with these different picks. Yeah, for sure. And that's what you need, right? Is a curveball. You need something to shake things up going into this next game, this next map and here we are loading in on Sunset Delaware starting on the attack, I believe. Or no, on the defense. defense. Yeah, they will be on the defense this time. And as I said previously, Saints didn't lose a single round on the attack last time. It looks like they're going to just go for the full five stack onto this B site to start off the first round. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a full stack over on B. It's going to be tough to defend against. They do have the Cypher, though. So if there are any tripwires, they're going to know what's coming. There's a tripwire right there. The Ray is going to throw out that Boombot. The nade is ready. Boombot does get shot down. Nice headshot there from Chris. Looks to find another one by Oppie. Great start for the Saints. A couple very, very early picks. The spike is planted. And yeah, they're just running through Delaware's defense. Running through Delaware. The Saints are going to have this site locked down already. It's going to be up to Gong, Caitlyn, and Singular to try and clear this one out. Akatrofen gets Singularity, Chris gets oh, Gong, nice. and Chris going to get three kills, cleaning up the round, taking out Caitlyn. That's a flawless pistol round from losing the pistol first pistol round to flawlessing now in the second map. I think Saints are full of confidence because they're having a great time up on that stage and they're just completely running over their opponents. I think might see a similar round to what we saw last time. I think Saints understand that they, if they send all five members to a side, Delaware have not been able to withstand that pressure just yet. And if it's aim broke, don't fix it. Exactly. And now... Winning a pistol round, that's a good omen for the Saints. They have all the pressure they need and more to start snowballing early on. Yeah, and a good omen as well is this Karosu putting in right work on this omen. Looking to throw out the smokes right there for the rest of the Saints to follow up on. The drone will spot out nobody so far. So Saints know that there's not going to be too many defenders. The raise does get spot out. The nade onto Chris does do a bit of damage. But now the Saints are going to start their parts of flash because I'm out. The smokes come out. They're in. Nice roster through the smoke onto Sylvie who's on 20 HP. Is behind here. Can Chris find anything? No, it does get taken down. But Abby Profit finds one. Curls finds one as well. 4v3 now for the Saints as they have the spike down yet again. And Delaware have a couple members on the flank this time. But it's going to be... A good amount of time before they get to this fight. It's going to be a really tough fight for Delaware. They have no guns to their name, all running classics. Sure, they have some util, but do you really want to burn it this far in? Going to go in with a smoke, try and make it expensive. Oppie going to take out Singularity. Oppie getting another. Will there be a triple kill on the board here? No, it's going to be Korosu, though, getting the last kill. Yeah, of course, they're doing a great job to pick up the final kill there, Saints. Pick up their round, only losing their Reyna, so they will get to keep the weapons they bought. And, you know, Chris could maybe buy an upgrade. No, we'll have a Spectre there. Saints will choose to play for the bonus here. Not going to invest too much in this next round, but the side of Delaware, they have the full buys. They need to win this round if they want to give themselves a chance on this map. Yeah, they have to try and win this one out. This yes. is it. This is the decider for how yes. the tide will go for the next few rounds. Delaware needs to win this thing. And the Saints, even though there's so much Cypher set up and they know it's going to be there every single time, still choosing to go to this B site and still choosing to take these fights here. Yeah, I mean, as long as Delaware can defend your push, why would you change it up? They get in pretty easily. All the utility used, the flash is there. It's going to be Jade all by then Lonesome taken down on that raise. Plant coming in again, and it's down in just under 30 seconds from the start of the round. The 
now 40 seconds for Delaware to respond. The Saints have full control of the site. The Gecko, but he is gonna get onto that spike. Does get shot out. Nice angle here from OB Profit. Can he find shots on the shots there with the Guardian? Maya and Chris find the couple. Karosu finds the third. Sylvie does find the trade, but Karosu gets the last kill of the round yet again. Saints take the third round, and now I think this might snowball. I think this snowball has already begun as they just swap out those Guardians for even yeah. more pricier guns here. <laughs> Don't even buying buy. some Vandals. And yeah, the Saints starting to run away with it here. You have all the util in the world. University of Delaware going for a little bit of a force buy, having, I was gonna say a hero's vandal, but no, <laughs> they're gonna try and one. save as much as they can. Yeah. And no. this is going to be a tough round. They're going for a thrifty, but it's very unlikely if I had to guess. Yeah, I think this round definitely going to be Saints favored. Let's see how they decide to play. Going to do the exact same thing again. If any broke, don't fix it. The Cypher Traps, though, are going to be set up in a bit of a different location, but the Saints don't even need to go that deep into the side. They can just walk straight out here, get the plant down, and just go relax back there. Chris will be the first one to push. Now, that's been the case for most of this map on this Reyna. Can Chris find any opening picks? Plant goes down yet again. Extremely easy. No contest. Now it's 40 seconds for Delaware to respond. 40 seconds on the clock and ticking. Beautiful oh. lineup by Oppie. Clean headshot, concussed, but still getting a double kill as Chris. It's gonna be Sylv getting one with the Sheriff and last one remaining is that Sheriff. Gonna go in, rush them with the knives and take them out. That's Oppie with the triple kill. Yep, easy round for the Saints. I think Delware's only choice here, you have to five stack this B side. Like, it's been four rounds now, you haven't found <laughs> you have any. To. Like, you have At to, least four like, stack, try you know? it If the Saints go to A randomly one time, and see, I think they finally are going to do that one. I think now, though, if Saints go over to that A site, <laughs> that's gonna be that would, awful. That would be very, very funny, and just a great play from them, but. It's definitely a hard read to make, but I think Delaware going for the five stack is a very, very expected move. I think both sides are going to be ready for this. I don't know, if it's not broke, don't fix it like you were saying earlier. You just got to keep running it and keep making it work, especially when you have such a lead as the Saints do now. Or be being taken, they're running up the site here, turning the corner now. Gunfight is just about to begin. Smokes go out. Turns the corner, Chris finds one, trade comes through. There's the Sova ult being committed. Finds one. Finds one, it cannot find more, but Abby finds one with that coverage. Moving in, last one remaining, Clove being taken out. And 5-0 is the scoreline so far. The Saints just looking unstoppable. I mean, Saints are just straight up annihilating them, leaving nobody with any chance of winning other than themselves. Up yet again, top of the leaderboard, 8-1 and one on this jet, amazing performance. Yet again, definitely the big duelist player here for the Saints, and I think gonna be a standout player for the rest of the season. But the rest of the team is doing a great, great job keeping up. There have only been four deaths total for the side of the Saints yeah. in this entire half, yeah. and they have five rounds already. Five rounds already on the board. Delaware now, once again, Sorry. forced to save. Want to have a tough time. I like this. I hey, like this. I love this. This is in a very unexpected tactic from Delaware, going for the flank of all flanks, stacking everybody all at once. Maybe that util alerted the cipher holding the flank. Did I hear that right? It's probably what the cipher is asking themselves. It finds one. Abby Profen turning the corner, playing uh -oh. very carefully. Still gets hit by the concuss. Somehow surviving through all the util, gets taken out by Silve. Bruce, though, finding one through all the chaos. And Oppy now in a dangerous position finds one. The team is there to back Oppy up. Almost finds the second. Gets the second with that. Nice little wall bang there for yet another 3K. Saints take their sixth of the half and doesn't look like they're showing any signs of slowing down. No signs of stopping. This is an absolutely amazing start for the Saints. Is it even a start at this point? We it's could be potentially <laughs> halfway through the map at this point. Looking over, Oppie still holding on to those knives for the perfect moment. Of course, oh, one point nice. away from a nice DP. I'd be proven next one in line on the side of the Saints for that Cypher ult. Yeah, I mean, Saints have everything they could ever want. They will continue going B-side. Now it looks like the side of University of Delaware will be 
not allowing anything here. They will be using all their utility to stop the Saints from walking up to speed side. And this is the most resistance we've seen all map. They have the full buys <laughs> as well. So Spray. it's a good job from them to stop Saints from going initially. But they have four members just sitting right in this doorway. Saints can look to rotate at any opportune moment. Any opportune moment. That cat is accurately depicting the situation right now. The reaction, <laughs> the emotions. But... Right now, the other Saints are on the flank. Oppie finding one. That's a good opening pick. They got to move in. Well, the chaos is still happening. Korusu finds another. And Micah finds another. A 2v5. 1v5 finds one. But that's not going to be enough. Another easy round for the Saints, even when they don't get their way and just walk into the site. They win their gunfights. I think University of Delaware know where this one is headed as well. They just cannot win a round. No matter what they do, they've tried the flank, they've tried the straight up, they've tried the aggressive game plan. Saints are just have their number today and playing absolutely as flawless so far. Yeah, they are doing an absolutely amazing job. And I mean, Delaware is making them have to adapt now though. They're starting to get the read on it. They're improving their defenses every single round. But the Saints, as you saw in the last round, are just adapting as well. Yeah, Saints did a great job there. Still refusing to go towards the A side. They don't like the A side. And Chris gets that opening a pick. One the arena. Great start for the Saints here. They do find a couple of mid curls. We find a second there. Saints are just taking them left and right. Chris, nice shot on the arena. Gets the second kill of the round. Singularity does pick up Karosu on this flank. Gets in deep very, very quickly, but Oppie finds this flank there. It's going to be all up to the Cypher. Who's going to get taken out by Chris? Third kill of the round there. As Saints go up 8-0. to 8-0 zero. to zero is the scoreline. They're looking to make this a complete sweep hey, at this point. I We're almost there. I don't want to cast or curse it. We might. But unless Delaware starts to shake things up here, it's looking to be the case. I mean, Saints do have the advantage on the attack. They have the extra duelist, but I don't think it's supposed to swing the favors this much. I mean, Saints are doing a great, great job. RP 14 and 1 on the jet. When your jet has only one death in eight rounds, and is finding all these early frags and makes the game so much easier. But the rest of the team doing a great, great job of following right up on there. every pick. Doing an absolutely amazing job indeed. Now Korosu prepping the blind, sending it in. He's covering up that site. Heavy Profen getting one kill. Singularity going to use their own res to try and stay in the fight. And wow, good usage. Catches Abby Profen off guard. Yeah, Oppie does find the trade, though, as Garosu finds one more. Does get taken out, but finally, for the first time this map, Saints have witnessed the area of the map that they haven't seen so far. They've gone up mid, and they're going to plant the spike on A. The result comes out. Nice dodge there from Oppie. Has the knives ready. The swing comes through. Chris finds one. Oppie does fall down, but Chris finds the second. Gets out with the life there on the rain of 45 HP left on Gong. Plant is down on A. It's going to be really hard for this breach to make up all the space. Very, very difficult for breach here not going to be having the best time especially in a 2v1 situation you don't have a lot of util here you have maybe just enough to secure a kill with bomb already being down time ticking maybe a save you might just play for a save i think in this scenario there should there's not going to be any save saints are swinging everything and anything team ace this time three saints did fall down so this has been the best round from delaware so far did find a couple members early but saints switch up their game plan they go over to that a and very easily find the round and saints getting six kills that route as six. well True. because of the res they had to commit the self res to even get a pick on the saints i mean the saints just making them use every single source of advantage they could possibly get there and the saints are still coming out on top and they're still holding on to some of these alts and one surprising thing zero timeouts called by delaware this entire time which kind of means they've kind of waved the white flag you know if they really wanted to come back in this i think a timeout would be a great start but down this far it's gonna be hard now but they do get a great opening pick onto chris there sylvie gets a, that one to go their way but a nice trade from karosu there is the cypher ultimate however as the jade is gonna push in on the race does get traded out now three v3 situation loading saints do stay alive and get out of trouble almost find the trade back there onto silgurity but it is now 3v3 every profit is on one hp but karosu finds uh, yeah, another one sylvie gonna go down and this swing is beautiful from maya but does not spot out this 
player in the corner of the plant does go down almost, but Caitlyn finds the trade and Singularity finds wow. the pick here. And it's going to be the first round taken by University of Delaware on the save round. And it's going to be a start of a comeback. And this is what they hope for. Yeah, yeah, amazing start for Delaware. I mean, especially on a save round too, being able to find such key picks. Great position, great gameplay all around. Delaware finally finding the, the cure for whatever the Saints had cooking up there. Yeah, and Saints, you know, will just hopefully look past that one. I'll worry about that one too much and continue their plan. Looks like they will be doing the same thing going over to this B site yet again. But yeah, definitely a great round for Delaware. They took the early swing and then took a couple peaks that the Saints were not expecting. Finally, putting around on the board must feel very, very good. The Saints are going to be pushing into this B site. It's going to be a 5v3 for the time being. 5v3. Looking pretty good. Moving fast again. Saints sticking to the B site for the final, or not final round, one of the last few rounds. It's been working out for them so far. Only one loss on the board. Russo taking out one singularity. Take getting two, though. It's going to be disastrous. 3v4 is the scoreline. Jade getting a double as well. 1v5 is going to spell doom for the Saints once again. 9 to 2. Delaware trying to turn this around to a 9 to 3. Yeah, it looks like Delaware have finally figured out what the Saints want to do on this B side. I think now Saints should maybe look over towards that A side. Last round of the half. Last One time, just go push A and see what happens. Uh, I think this B-side has been defended well these past three rounds by Delaware. And it looks like Saints are going to do the same thing as I was thinking, make their way onto A. But I think Delaware might be able to sniff out the fact... No, it doesn't look like it. They're going to four-stack that I mean, B-side. They're going to put one over on A, because it is a possibility. And it is the That's cipher. a smart play. It is the cipher. It is the cipher. It's probably the strongest yeah. defense, defensive agent you could put on there. So let's see what the Saints have cooking up already. Moving fast, they know they have to move with precision. Cypher throwing up the cage. Gonna rotate around. You don't want to be moving in blind, though. Now they're rushing in. They need to take the site end quickly before the rest of Delaware floods in. And the plant's going down from Maya. It's a great push from the Saints. If Maya can get out with their lives here, it'd be huge having that Sova ultimate. Could do wonders. Saints have a 4v3 here. 2v4 now as a couple members fall down. The Gecko comes out, doesn't spot anything. Can still be finding anything here. Maybe Profen finds one, but nice shot there. Picks one up. Amaya finds a one. 1v2 scenario has the Sova ultimate. Could just look to run here and play with that power that they have on the Sova ultimate. Just one pick. Could close out the round, picks up the raise, throws out the dart, knows exactly where the opponent is, is getting pushed. Has to be careful around this corner. Cannot find the 1v1 clutch. It's gonna be Kaelin on this Gecko, picking up the third round in a row for University of Delaware as they might be flipping the switch on this map. I mean, they have every right to at this point. They were able to withstand nine rounds of non-stop oppression from the Saints, and now they're down to try and turn this around for themselves. 9-3 is not an unwinnable half. It's really, really tough, but some people believe in that 9-3 curse. You have to win that third round. They've done it. If they can get something here, maybe, maybe they're just an attacking team. Maybe. I mean, Saints definitely slowed down there towards the end, and Delaware did some great, great plays to withhold the pressure, but it's going to be this pistol round. It's going to be the most crucial round for Delaware. If they don't lose, don't win this pistol round, I think it's going to be almost nearly impossible for the comeback to happen. But if they find the pistol no round... If, if there's anyone to do it, it's going to be the team with a player that has a score of 1,015 on crossroad. True. That is just sheer dedication, True. willpower, and able to withstand even the most unfair of situations. I must agree with you on that one, Matthias. It's going to be a five stack onto this B side from Adele, where Saints probably know a little bit too well about this strategy as they did do it for about 11 rounds in a row last half. And the flank from Oppy here is a beautiful. Should be able to find the Cypher, does find it. 2v2 trades now. It's going to be Caroso here reloading, trying to survive. Does go down, but all the trades are coming through. Now it's a 2v2 situation here. Now Maya finds one, can't find the second. Yes, great shots there from Maya. And Saints do take the piss around. Very, very crucial round for them as the momentum was slowly swinging to Delaware. But they take a 10-3 lead. That's what you gotta do. You gotta take that momentum right back. If you're St. Clair, you cannot give them any foothold whatsoever. And now, with a little bit of money in the bank, the Saints are gonna use that to full effect. Gonna go for a little bit of a lighter buy. 
and they're gonna pretty much just match what Delaware is buying here. Yeah, and Delaware are forcing up full here. They know that they need to win every single round possible, and they're putting themselves at a bit of a advantage here, but if they lose this round, they know that the repercussions of not winning this round on a full buy is not, it's, it's gonna be pretty bad for them if they can't win this one. Yeah, all the money's in one pot here, all the eggs are in one basket. Trying to knock one off there with the Vandal. Gets a lot of damage. Gonna be tough to approach now. And Ibuprofen finds one. Now it's gonna be Karosu taken down away. Can Karosu find a second headshot here on the Omen? No, but Ni Maya will find that second pick. 4v3 now for the Saints. Still the plants going down from that Gecko. Can they take that one out? Yes, Karosu finds the shots. There's the spike now. It's gonna be down in the middle of the point and nobody from the side of University of Delaware can really get in here and plant it with ease. Oh, it's gonna be really tough for them to get in here playing the post. <laughs> bomb there. Wow, they all fall down. It was hard to keep up with. Just in pure synchronicity, Oppy and Korusu cleaned up everybody else on the enemy team. And now Saints can buy whatever they want, have all the money in the world here to buy up. And the side of University of Delaware can't afford too much. I have a couple sheriffs, a ghost, and a. Classic. So I think they are conceding this round knowing that there's only so much you can buy with the funds that they have, but they will have a couple more chances to bring themselves back into this game. So yeah, I think they're going to have one more chance. One more chance. <laughs> yeah, right description. Hey, maybe if they get a thrifty here, it'll be a couple more. They've done it. They've done it before. If there's any time to do it, the time is now. And it's going to be only Ibuprofen here on this defense, on the Cypher. But the rest are rotating over. Maya alongside Oppie now are here to help defend. It's going to be a quick push here. And Karesu does a fall down first. The trade does come out from Ibuprofen. It is a two for two trade. The plant will go down. But Oppie finds a couple picks one there. Anyway. Maya finds one more. Now it's a 1v3 for Sylvie here. And I think this push is going to come through here. Nice shot there onto Maya. Oppie holding that one though. Finds the headshot as Saints put themselves on match point. I need one more round <laughs> to take the series home. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, absolutely amazing round from the Saints, and now they are on that match, match point. point. And that scoreline predicted by Oppie is looking to be exactly on the money. And that's what you love to see. Maybe that's why they lost the three rounds in a <laughs> to row. To try and get the Oppie, accurate prediction. Oppie told us it's going to be a 33, <laughs> and there could not be a wrong guess by any circumstances but now there will be a full buy from both sides so Saints need to lock in for one more round as it's gonna be the strongest Delaware are for the rest of the map. So gonna have to contest with this thrash though if it finds somebody it's going to be absolutely lethal. Nope. It's a lot of info though they know A is pretty much clear and Saints are gonna have to play post play. Yeah, Saints, you see, they're quickly rotating, and the plant's not down yet. There, the Gecko will throw down the body. Plant will go down, but Saints are going to be here for the retake, and all hell is going to break loose. The plant didn't go down, however. Buddy did get destroyed there, so Saints going to have a bit more time to rotate, but Op, he will be the first to fall here. The trade comes out from Maya, though, as Saints look to play retake. Plant is going down. 40 seconds to work with. Nice shot there from Ivy Profen. Double swing comes out. Picks come through. Now it's a 2v1 scenario for Kurosu. Going to be hard to win this one. As a team ace comes out from University of Delaware, and they are able to hang on. They do lose three members, though, so it's going to be still pretty rough shape for them yeah pretty rough pretty expensive indeed but winning that round lets them buy those guns right back and they have they to can afford there's, it. there's no more saving at this point you're yeah. gonna spend everything you have in the bank no more rounds left to lose it's do or die situation for delaware and saints can't afford a full buy from the look of things they have uh, AB Pro Profen, who just can't afford to buy a weapon, will have a Vendel oh, bought by a team. It is Chris is going to be the one to sacrifice. Only has the classic on that Reyna, and then a Spectre and a Bulldog. The knives will be popped by Oppie, so drops the weapon off to AB Profen there. And 
but maybe it's gonna be all on this jet here. Does find the opening pick there. It's gonna be Chris onto Sylvie. That's gonna be an extra weapon picked up for anyone of the Saints who wants it. And Kuros who finds the second Sobo does come out, destroys the body there. Saints have a 5 3 scenario that Sobo last ult misses. But now with the spike in the middle of the point and Saints having full control of it, it's gonna be very, very hard for they were to find anything. K21 does find one, but Chris finds the trade 4v2 situation for the Saints as Chris finds the third of the round. The self res comes through for single rarity. Now, will the shots come through? Chris finds fourth of the round. Maya finds the series wow. ending kill. As Saints take a game two and take the series two to zero. Yeah, absolute masterclass here from our game changers team. Great first showcase and absolutely enthralling game to watch. Yeah, I mean, 13 to 13 4, that's an average of 13 to 3. So Oppie was right on point with that prediction. And a beautiful, beautiful performance from them. They take the win and they're 3 0 on the season. I know. They played so explosively as well. They had such insane angles, such crazy plays, and they moved with such confidence, and it was not misplaced at all. They had such great angles over on that B site even as Delaware slightly changed up every single time through more and more util over on that B site they're still able to adapt and keep on pushing through yeah I mean it was a great great performance not even a lot to look uh, into the game for them yeah. they know how easy it was they found the bomb site that they like to attack on an offense put the pedal to the metal on defense Played beautiful retake when needed. So a great game from them. Still a couple of things to improve on, like always, but not a lot to improve on after that performance. No, sir. But Delaware does have some stuff to improve on. I think they have the aim. They have the the the, the mechanical skill there. They just need to clean up some tactics, I think, and try yeah. and think of new ways to approach. But they did a really good job at not losing any heart throughout that. They did take a couple of rounds there yeah. near the end. They adapted pretty well. But I think it was just the Saints had them beat in terms of approach. Yeah, I mean, the Saints, were the uh, we're 2-0 uh, for a reason, and they show why they haven't lost a match so far in the season. But that's enough from us. Let's get an interview once again from the Game Changers players. Let's see who it is. It's Oppie I'll once again. again. Your predictions were almost exactly on the yeah. money. Your first game, you were even a little underconfident there. Mm -hmm. It was really close. <laughs> yeah, so overall, how are you feeling about that game? First I time being on stream. super well. Super well, super, super well. Super proud of my team. Yeah, I know. Anything you feel that you could have done better at all? I mean, I could have hit a couple more shots, you know. <laughs> exactly. You're playing it almost perfectly there. Pretty much perfectly. You're getting the round ending kill almost every single time. But Theo, take it away. Uh, was there any read you guys saw on your opponent? They seem to like to stack a lot and push a side as five. Was that something you guys picked up throughout the series? Yeah, we definitely, I think we realized that on the first map and we kind of adjusted around that. Exactly. So there was a little bit of a tactical difference with the teams there. You know, very clumped together was their play style. How did you guys uh, try and adapt there exactly? Uh, we kind of just, we would realize where most of them were. And we would take space on the other side of the map just to, you know, just to clear, just to make sure that there's nobody there. And yeah, just play together. Exactly. That was absolutely amazing. And how are you feeling going in through the series? You're racking up that high score line here <laughs> in the tournament. Are you going to get a little worried about any upcoming opponents? Do you think it's going to be this easy every time? Uh, I'm not honestly sure. Uh, I'm confident in my team, but... You know, who can say? Exactly. Who can say? Keep your confidence exactly where it's at. I think you're at the perfect level right now. Congratulations to your win, and good luck in your future endeavors. Hope to see Thank you again you. soon, Oppie. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining us here. And that's all we're going to have here for today. So we're going to start closing things out. Once again, thank you, Theo, for joining me here on the desk. Thank you, everybody in the back. That's going to be Owen helping run everything here today, cleaning up some of the graphics and making everything run accordingly. And also, we have to thank Ari, our observer. observer, making sure we capture all those crazy moments. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you to our sponsors. We have Alienware, Tim Horton, Subway Sinclair, SRC, and the St. Clair Alumni Association. That's it for us uh, today. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good night, and we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow.